Hi students. Welcome to the platform of E Gurukul and Dr. Bhatia Medical Coaching Institute. I am Dr. Ramya Sri, your Afghan guru. In this video, I'm going to discuss a question on shoulder dystocia and I'm going to tell you all the maneuvers which we do in shoulder dystocia. So here we take a help of a video and we, I'm going to explain you what maneuver comes after what. So it's a beautiful video. Uh, let's go through it. A 25 year old Gravida 2, Gravida 1, Para 0 is delivered by delivering her first child. Her labor course was protracted and she pushed for 3 hours. Head is seen to deliver but shoulders are not coming out. What is your next step? So, what is your diagnosis here guys? So, head is seen but shoulders are not coming out. Then it is nothing but the shoulder dystocia. So, whenever the head to shoulder delivery time is more than 1 minute, we call it as shoulder dystocia. So, shoulder dystocia is mainly seen with dope. Shoulder dystocia is head to shoulder delivery time exceeding more than 1 minute. So, when head has come out but shoulders are stuck inside and more, are present for more than 1 minute, we call it as shoulder dystocia. So, for shoulder dystocia, first thing what we do is call for help. What are the risk factors which can cause shoulder dystocia? We can remember it as dope. So, the main reason for macrosomic baby is maternal obesity, then the diabetes. Okay. So, diabetes, obesity, post-datism and when mother has excessive weight gain during pregnancy. Excess weight gain during pregnancy. So, the shoulder dystocia main risk factors what we have are diabetes, obesity, post datism and excess weight gain during pregnancy. So, head to shoulder delivery exceeding more than 1 minute is called as shoulder dystocia. The most common complication what is associated with shoulder dystocia where mainly there will be litigation or the case file or the problem what comes is mainly the brachial plexus injury in the baby. So, it's mainly due to brachial plexus injury in the fetus. So, whenever you are stretching the neck with great pressure, what happens is the, the nerves in the neck will get compressed. So, when these nerves in the neck gets compressed, that will lead to the brachial plexus injury. So, especially C5, C6 when it gets compressed, it will lead to the brachial plexus injury and causes the shoulder man, the policeman tip hand. So, what is that paralysis called as when we have the policeman tip hand? So, mainly C5, C6 injury. So, the most common the policeman tip hand or C5, C6 injury that is called as herbs palsy. So, what do we do when we have a patient with shoulder dystocia? What are the different maneuvers we perform when, when we have a patient with shoulder dystocia? So, let's see the different maneuvers which are which we perform with shoulder dystocia. So, normally the risk factors what we have for shoulder dystocia are. So, normally the risk factors what we have are previous shoulder dystocia, dope, whatever I have told, apart from that induction of labor. So, in, in, the, in the intrapartum, instrumental delivery and oxytocin augmentation can also cause. See, 41-47% of the babies will die within 5 minutes if they have not delivered. So, first thing what we have supposed to do is, yes, so she is trying to deliver the patient, baby. So, the head has come out. But she is not able to, but she is not able to pull the neck. So, she has diagnosed this as shoulder dystocia. The shoulders are not coming out. So, what is the first thing she has done? She has done call for help. So, uh, it helps. We have to call the obstetrician, pediatrician and the anesthetist for resuscitation. So, we have to bring the patient to the edge of the table, empty her bladder, give the episiotomy. Then we do the first maneuver that is called Mac Roberts maneuver. So, in Mac Roberts, you lift both the limbs on the abdomen and you abduct. So, when you, ex when you put the both limbs on the abdomen and abduct, so that will tilt the pelvis scaphoid. That might dislodge the shoulder. 
So you have to put the patient in this Mac Roberts manual throughout. Throughout you have to put. But when you are putting the patient in the Mac Roberts manual for throughout, the problem associated with this is it can cause injury to the nerve, especially the injury to lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh. Next. So that is called as when there is an injury to the lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh, that is called as myralgia paresthetica. Next, you have to identify the back of the fetus and then you have to do sustained rocking movements on the back of the fetus. So you have to identify the back of the fetus and then you have to give sustained rocking movements on the back of the fetus. That is called as suprapubic pressure. Suprapubic pressure. So next, you identify the back of the shoulder posterior aspect of the shoulder. So what we are seeing here is the Rubens manual which is outdated which we do not do nowadays. So you have to continue doing the suprapubic pressure and Mac Roberts. Your suprapubic pressure and Mac Roberts should continue throughout. So the next manual what you are doing there that is called Woods Corkscrew. Woods Corkscrew. So you put two fingers on the posterior aspect of the upper shoulder two fingers on the anti aspect of the lower shoulder and you try to rotate the shoulder so that shoulders which are in oblique diameter of the pelvis come to the anteroposterior diameter of the pelvis because the largest diameter in the pelvis is the anteroposterior diameter of the pelvis. So if the baby does not come out by this also the baby does not come out by this also uh, by Woods Corkscrew also then what we do is so you are trying both sides so then what we do is we put our arm inside and we try to grasp the arm and pull it out that is called posterior arm extraction so you can see the posterior arm extraction now So if usually baby does not come out by this manoeuvre also, then you make the mother lie down like a cat or a dog on all four limbs and then you try to pull the baby's head out. That is called as Gaskin's position. So this is the Gaskin's position or all fours position and then you repeat all the manoeuvres again. The last three extreme manoeuvres what we have is you can replace the baby's head and perform cesarean section. So that is called as Zana Valley's manoeuvre or you can break the clavicle of the baby that is fetal chlorotomy or you can perform a symphysiotomy in the mother. So that is about the shoulder dystocia. So I will quickly write the names of the manoeuvres here. So we have first we have to do call for help. Then you bring the patient to the edge of the table. Empty the bladder. And extend the episiotomy. Right. Then what we are supposed to do. So after this what we are supposed to do is. Uh, Mac Roberts manoeuvre. So in Mac Roberts, you hyperflex both the limbs on the abdomen and you abduct. So that will tilt the pelvis scaphoid, right? So in Mac Roberts, I told you there is a complication of myralgia paresthetica. So that is lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh gets injured. Next, after the Mac Roberts, the next manoeuvre what we have is suprapubic pressure if baby does not come out by the suprapubic pressure also then what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to go for woods corkscrew so what did i tell you in the woods corkscrew two fingers on the posterior aspect of the upper shoulder two fingers on the anti aspect of lower shoulder and then try to rotate the shoulders in the anteroposterior diameter of the pelvis then we have posterior arm extraction
so then we have the posterior arm extraction so this is about the uh, this is about the first preliminary management what we have if the patient doesn't come out if the baby does not come out by any of these maneuvers baby does not come out by any of these maneuvers what do we do next is we have to go for all fours or gaskins position all fours or gaskins position and then repeat all the maneuvers again last three extreme methods are zanavelli fetal clerotomy and maternal symphysiotomy maternal symphysiotomy so that's about the shoulder dystocia so 25 year old gravida 1 para 0 is delivering her first child her labor course was protracted and she pushed for 3 hours had is seen and to deliver but shoulders have not come out what is next step so first step is call for help after that we do the maneuver of mac roberts but first step is call for help 